Hi guys and welcome to another formation rotation, the second one of the weekend and this uh, this day we're going to be doing 4-3-1-2. A very, well it's basically a formation I would not go near, 4-3-3, uh, three, three. any formations like that I do not like going near. This is mainly um, down to the fact that I never, I've been able to use it because of the openness the wings give you uh, when defending and I've always found myself really open at the back. So, hopefully my thoughts on this formation will have changed by the end of the episode. I can tell you that yes, it is going to change because it is an absolutely solid formation with the defence, attack and midfield. Uh, it's going to be a silver squad builder. It's going to be the first one we've done this series. Uh, first things first, guys, remember to check out FIFACoinTraders.com. Their link is in the description for reliable FIFA coins. And, uh, yeah, let's crack on with the team and then move on to basically the rundown of what I thought of it. So, goalkeeper, let's set the parameters up. Four, three. Uh, I'll also have a discussion about the players I'm putting in there and the reasons why as well. So the goalkeeper is going to be the guy I cannot say. He has actually got an inform out um, to this week, hasn't he? So even though this team was built a few weeks ago, he has got an inform out if you do want to splash the cash for an inform version. It is Vercature. I think that's how you say it. Probably fucked up severely, but that's how I say it. Anyway, the centre back, the first one is going to be Santa Croque. I can't even say his name either. Um, he is an Italian non mare silver, and he his pace is unreal for a centre back. It's 79. The right back is going to be Pisano. We have had him once before. Uh, I cannot remember. Was a decent player, very attacking and very helpful towards this uh, squad as well. So the first centre back is going to be Umtiti. He is a non mare also, and he is an absolute animal. Him, Zuma, and I think there's another centre back. I can't remember his name though. Who are absolute animals on this game, and Umtiti does. Umtiti. Uh, mm, mm, yeah, we won't go there. Left back, Monzon, Argentinian beast. Uh, really do recommend him. So he gets very uh, strong link with. Um, with Leon and Umtiti. So moving on to the centre mids. Now I do need to make sure that I do get these the right way around. So I have got a pen and paper in front of me. And the first centre mid is going to be Verratti. He is a PSG player. And he does get uh, links <coughs> with both of um, uh, both of them. So it starts off the Italian part of the hybrid. So the centre mid directly in the middle is going to be... Desena. Now I've never played with this guy really, but he does uh, seem to do, as long as you don't use him for the long shots, then uh, you are sorted. So variety, he has four star skills as well, so very beneficial to the team if you want to use him as a flare player. But this guy is the beast in midfield and it is a probably, un <coughs> not really used, not really seen him this year, uh, unless he's been in my squad builders, it is Greco. Now this guy's stats look pretty average for silver, but honestly, his long shot I have no idea what it is, but that long shot, man, you will see it in the highlights how much it gets used. He is an absolute beast. Get him from anywhere outside the area, and he will trouble, trouble the opposition goalkeeper. Uh, basically, like, don't know. Yeah, we won't even go there because there's going to be some sort of racism or homophobia comment thrown in there. Centre forward to uh, finish off the Italian link is going to be Sal. Now this guy, he is worth a fucking chunk of coins, 17k. Uh, a lot of people in the stream did recommend him. I didn't really like him. The only thing he's got going for him is his pace. Uh, everything else is shit. He's, uh, he's quite a weak player, but um, thankfully we've got two absolute heavyweights up front to uh, make this team bearable. So the first of the two strikers is going to be El Yunusi, absolute animal last year, beast this year, and he gets an awesome link with Husklep. He is a four star, I think both of these are four star skillers actually, let's just double check that. Yeah, four star, four, both four star skillers and a three star at centre forward. So that is a team built guys, it looks very, very fucking nice for a silver team. Um, really do recommend it. Husklep is an absolute animal. So is Elian Nusi. Both of them two will get your goals when you least expect it. Greco for the long shots. Verratti for the uh, flare. And uh, just use the Desena for uh, just holding that midfield together, really. The defence is fast as fuck. And the keeper's uh, really good as well. So that's my rundown of the team. Now I'm going to give you a rundown of the formation itself. 
As long as I said there, if you use Verratti as a flare player, make sure you don't be doing one twos with uh, De Sina pulling him up into the uh, into the attack. Then you will be sorted. Very good player for clearing up the mess. Greco abused that long shot. He's got absolute animal. Only downfall to this formation I did see while playing the games was the wing play. Really, if you uh, pull Greco and Verratti up, you will be left with a bit of a gap. Especially with Monzon being high attacking and the same with uh, Pisano as well. Not sure on the work rates but uh, they are, do like to get involved with the overlaps and stuff like that. Uh, with Sal being centre forward from centre mid, bit of a gap there. But as long as you're pinging the ball up to Husklep's head and heading it down, you should uh, have no problems. So guys, that is my rundown of 4 5 one And I'm going to discuss a little bit more with the highlights in the background. I'll uh, be back in a second. So we're back guys and these are the highlights of the, uh, it's actually five games we played in the Silver Tournament, we got knocked out after two games. But basically we did abuse the pace of El Yunusi, Sal and obviously the absolute train, and he's going like, he's just a train, the train is Husklep, Husklep, uh, and we did abuse him. So this formation was fucking awesome for counter-attacking football. It was awesome for bossing the midfield. It offered lots of options when you least expected it. Like if you look there, uh, even though we were on the attack with the strikers, it did bounce back to like the second. What? How would you describe it? It would be like the the second wind, which is like the three centre mids. Two of them will push up, one of them will sit back. Uh, who slept? Did. Uh, score a lot of nice goals for me. Very skillful player. Very sleek as well. And had an awesome celebration, which was the sit down, which I don't know how to do, but he does do it anyway. Um, also, we did abuse the long shots a hell of a lot with Greco and uh, Verratti. Uh, didn't realise he had four star skills until this as well with Verratti, but um, he had some very, very nice uh, plays in the games we did play. So the formation itself. Um, very solid in the midfield as long as you get the work rates correct I think we did get the work rates correct there there was a long shot of variety it did bounce back to who's left who scores a nice little cheeky lob as well um, the work rates seem to be very correct but uh, then again you don't know if the opponents are absolutely shocking because I do pull a lot of players up so as you can see with the overlapping you pass it to the center this is an unreal goal as well absolutely shocking keeping but Greco as I did say does have a very nice long shot and you do need to abuse it because you will score goals like that it reminds me of the goal I scored against Clutch with Donk a while back um, yeah so as long as you get the uh, work rates sort of correct uh, you do end up having a very strong and solid flare team uh, with some brutiness in the midfield as well. Husklep is absolutely solid as a striker as well. He can knock the balls down. I think we have got a clip uh, coming up where he does do that. Uh, but yeah, it's very good. Very well-rounded formation. I did enjoy it quite a lot. Uh, didn't really think I would, as I did explain in the start of the video. 4-3-3, Not really formations I would try with the wingers. Uh, but yeah, we will be finishing off with 4-3-3 in the, in the uh, series anyway. So we'll be uh, trying and testing the rest. But yeah, um, if you lot want to see more silver teams in the formation rotation, let me know because I will be uploading a few more squads. We might even do uh, like a bronze team if any of you lot want to see any. If you've even got any squads in different foot formations, tweet them at me because I do actively use Twitter too much. Uh, yeah, I use Twitter too much. I'm an addict. Like porn and stuff, but just not public. Uh, so yeah, if you've got any uh, squads or anything, you want to ask me anything, just catch me on Twitter, it's at Bateson87. So Huslep was an awesome player last year, it's a shame Sigurd Darson. Sigurd Darson would have been very nice in this team, but then again I'm living in the past. I'm an old school FIFA ultimate team player uh, and we do score a Bateson as well, a very delicate chip over the keeper. So guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please leave it a like, comment in the section below, remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also remember to check out FIFACoinTraders.com, their link is in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll enjoy this last goal from Huslep. So thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.